tell you about how we're keeping an eye on the climate right now. So Natasha's here. You know, we've heard that we had a La Nina winter last year, and then you said we're going to have a La Nina winter this year. So we're all thinking, okay, it's back to back, and we're looking ahead to winter. What's this going to mean in terms of rain? And then, of course, that possibility of snow. When we get snow, it really shakes things up around here. Oh, big time. You know how it goes. If we just get one inch of snow here in Portland, the whole city shuts down. Yes. So <laughs> it is a big concern. Could we see a repeat of last year? Well, typically, when we're talking about La Nina during the winter, we have above normal rainfall, precipitation, and generally cooler than normal conditions. So that's the general pattern. So if we take that into account, well, let's think if we have back to back La Nina winters, is that significant or is that just a thing and whatever? It doesn't really mean anything. Well, we're diving deeper into that. Let's take a look first of all. Yeah, remember this February? It wasn't too long ago where we had 10.1 inches of snow in Portland. And a lot of you also had to deal with that ice storm. So could we see more of this? Because our average annual snowfall for Portland is only four inches. That's way above four inches. Well, when we've had back to back La Nina's in the past, let's just deal with the recent past going back to about 2010. Let's examine the kind of snowfall that we had during those occasions. So if we put it into perspective here, look at all the yellow numbers. Those are the above normal snowfall totals for the season in Portland. So that being, of course, most recently, the 10 inches that we had in February. And then you go back to 2017, 7.6 inches. And then you dial it back even further to 2016, we had over 11 inches of snow for that time period. But here's the thing. Then you go back to 2010. Those were also back-to-back -back La Nina winters. And really not much to brag about here when we're talking about snowfall, when you only get 1.8 inches of snow for that time period. So you see we can get both even when La Nina is back to back. Now looking way ahead, way down the road, these are three month outlooks. You can see a very small corner of the Pacific Northwest is going to be dealing with cooler than normal conditions. But look at the rest of the United States. Now that is typical for La Nina, where above normal temperatures really take over the desert Southwest. But what about precipitation? As you look right here, right around the Northwest over to Montana, wetter than normal. That's what we're expecting going into the next three months. Does that mean snow in Portland? We'll have to, of course, wait and see about that. If you want to learn more about the subject because we go really in depth, go to coin.com forward slash climate. I'll have more on your weather coming up in just a few minutes. And of course, we know we can expect the rain. Thanks, Natasha. Coin six.